Voting for House Democrats after Nancy Pelosi announced that she will not seek the top spot in her caucus. Pelosi has led the House Democrats for more than 20 years. She first became Speaker of the House in 2007. Her decision leaves a leadership vacuum as a number of likely candidates emerge. Let's go live to Washington, D.C. correspondent Joe Khalil. He is tracking the latest developments inside the Democratic caucus. Good morning, Joe. Yeah, good morning, Mitch. So there are going to be some really huge changes uh, at the top of the House Democratic Caucus as they start to replace some of these leaders. And the new leaders are going to have huge and really historic shoes to fill, as my wife would say in the case of Nancy Pelosi, also some really stylish high heel shoes uh, as well. But it's not just Pelosi stepping back. It's also Jim Clyburn and Steny Hoyer, the numbers two and three Democrats at the top. All three are in their 80s. So uh, this change, again, is going to be pretty big. But I can tell you, there's not really a whole lot of question about who is going to step in. It's basically a consensus, according to our sources at this point. So let's get into the new leadership that we're going to see relatively soon. We're going to start with Hakeem Jeffries. Uh, he is a 52-year-old congressman from Brooklyn. Uh, he's going to be the first African-American to be at the top of a major party uh, in the House. And again, most likely to be replacing Nancy Pelosi and be in line to become speaker if Democrats win back a majority in 2024. Uh, our sources have been telling me that he's been making calls for months to other offices to shore up that support and his office pretty confident that he has uh, the, the right amount of votes. So uh, moving on, the, replacing the other two, Jim Clyburn and Steny Hoyer, are most likely going to be Congresswoman Catherine Clark from Massachusetts at the number two spot, and then Congressman Pete Aguilar from California at the number three spot. Now, this team, significantly younger. They come with less experience, but they're all uh, currently playing important leadership roles, just not so high-profile leadership roles, and they've all been sort of on deck uh, for some time now. The last night, I, I spoke with Congressman Ami Berra. He's also running for a leadership position uh, as head of the DCCC, the, the House Democratic Caucus, would be his job to win Democrats' elections, to win them seats. He tells me that while Democrats have had a really good, better-than-expected midterm, uh, that there are still a lot of weaknesses the party needs to address. Here's what he told me. We had a really good election cycle, but we lost the majority. We got our butt kicked in South Florida. We lost in places in New York that we usually would win. We've got to understand what's happening there. We are losing uh, young younger Hispanic men. We are losing younger African-American men. We need to understand that. Now, the last chairperson of the DCCC, Sean Patrick Maloney, did get a lot of Democrats elected. Again, they had a good midterm, but he lost his own seat in New York. So that's why he is uh, going to have to be replaced. In terms of, you know, the other leaders I, I mentioned, uh, it doesn't seem as though they have a lot of competition, as far as we know, for the numbers one, two, and three spot. They will very likely, all three of them, run unopposed for those new leadership positions. And that vote is going to come, Mitch, on November 30th. Joe, uh, I appreciate you and your wife keeping uh, tabs on the Democrats for us. It <laughs> remains to be seen how Hakeem Jeffries will look in a pair of pumps, but we will have to wait and see <laughs> on that one. <laughs> Joe Khalil, thank you for that report. Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation in your cable lineup. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-based, unbiased coverage.